have something to eat. Uh, no, mm -mm, I am not hungry. Thank you. But where's the, um, you know, you mean the maid? Yeah, yeah, maid, whatever they call themselves. She is late and I do not have time for latecomers. Mom, she's not even late. She still has like 10 minutes. <sighs> Listen, you would think that a job applicant would arrive early to an interview. I really don't understand these people. I'm sure that's her. It's about time. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. It's your May? Yes. Come on. Mom, here's Miss May. Hello. I'm May. I heard I am not deaf. Uh, you can leave those sandals at the door. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Mom, can you be a little nicer? To whom? The maid? Are you kidding me? Now, should you be hired, do not ever wear shoes or sandals in my home. Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm, right here. So, tell me, what types of household chores do you do? I can cook, I can clean, I can do laundry, I can also do groceries. And what kinds of foods do you cook? Well, I can cook anything. Do you steal? No, no, no. I don't steal. I don't take anything that doesn't belong to me. What do you think? Yeah, I think we should hire her, Mom. We'll sleep on it, and then we'll give her a call. How about that? I, I mean, that's fine too, but I think she's good to go. We'll give you a call either way. You can go. Mom, I really think she could have started right away. Who starts anybody right away? You people. Don't you understand that if you give somebody a job too easily, they don't take it very seriously? That's not true. What do you know? What's going on here? Why isn't my dinner ready? It's ready. I just need to bring the plates to the table. What are you doing? What, can't you talk? I asked you, what are you doing? Eating. Oh, so I pay you to eat my food. I'm sorry, I got a little hungry. Oh, you got a little hungry. Well, that does not give you the right to, to steal my food. I'm sorry. The next time you touch any of my food will be the last time you are at this job. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. I have completely lost my appetite thanks to you. Now 
Lord? Okay, well, why don't you come sit with me and let's watch some TV? What? You heard me. I said, come sit with me and let's watch some TV. I can't. Why not? Because I don't want to upset Miss Miller. How are you going to upset my mom by sitting? Because she said anytime I should be touching anything, it should be when I'm cleaning it. Well, I'm saying that you can sit with me, so it's okay. Thank you, but I think I'm gonna stay in the kitchen. No, it's okay. Come on, you can relax. Come on. I'm sure. Let's watch some TV. This will be fine. Okay. Come on. Yes, I'm sure. Please, come on. Come on. Have a seat. It's okay. Okay. Come on. <laughs> come on. Just wait here. I'll be right back. Here is a bowl of popcorn for you. Go on and eat. You sure? Yes, I'm very sure. It's fine. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? Mom, calm down. We're just watching television. Hmm. Watching television. Yeah. Is that why she's sitting on my couch? Mom, it's just a couch. What did I tell you about crossing your boundaries? She told me I could sit here. Oh, she told you you could sit, and so you sat. Give me that. Hmm, good. What if I dump this over your head? Mom! Oh. oh my God, stop being ridiculous! Leave her alone! Who asked you? When I get back downstairs, this whole place better be spotless. Do you understand me? Ridiculous. So, so sorry. I can't believe my own mother would do that. I I'm so sorry. This is my fault. I know. Listen, I will help you get cleaned up. I promise. Just give me a minute and I'll be right back, okay? She's not ordinary. Well, then what is she? She's a maid. So what if she's a maid? A maid is still a human being. Listen, I did not work my butt off to get to where I am today to have my daughter sitting on the couch with a maid. All right, I don't mind sitting on the couch with a maid. Well, I do. So this is about your money? It's about everything. You know you did the same thing the last two ladies until they quit? You know what? I don't care if they quit. Maids are like revolving doors. One goes out and another one comes in. Mom! Listen, it is not my fault that the only thing that they can do is clean up after other people. I can't believe that you're my parent. Well, believe it. You know what? Keep it up. The judgment day is almost here. May! May! Yes, ma'am? I thought I told you not to touch any of my things. I didn't touch anything. Well then, where are my diamond earrings that you stole? I didn't steal your diamond earrings. Oh, okay. Well, who took them? The Holy Ghost? I don't know, but I didn't take them. You have 30 minutes to go get them from where you hid them and bring them back to me right here. But I'm telling you the truth. I didn't take your earrings. Oh, and I suppose you don't even wear earrings. I don't wear earrings. 
Well, then you could probably sell them, can't you? You have 30 minutes. Go get them and bring them back to me right here. Please, ma'am, I didn't... Get out of my room! Oh my God, you're back. Oh, how was your trip? It was good, it was a nice getaway. Oh, well, welcome back. I was actually beginning to miss you. Oh. <laughs> I missed you too. But um, why are you cooking by yourself? Where is May? May? Oh, May's in prison. In prison? Oh yeah. For what? For stealing. She stole from me. Mom, are you sure about what you're saying? Oh yeah, I'm very sure. We are the only three in this house, so I know she did it. What did she steal? Well, do you remember those earrings that your dad gave me as an anniversary gift before he passed? Yeah. Well, they were gone. I went to look for them in my drawer. They were just, they were gone, and I know it was her. Mom, you can't just jump to conclusions like that. You should have talked to me before locking her up. Why would I ask you? Because I have them. I have your earrings. Well, why didn't you tell me? I did! Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, I texted you. Look, I texted you. I said, can I borrow your diamond earrings for my trip? You texted me back. You said, sure you can. And then you texted me back again, and you said, don't lose them. And then I said, I won't. Well, I don't remember that. Well, what are we gonna do? I will call the police station tomorrow to have you released. No. Where are you going? To the police station. I'm going to go explain to them what happened. I'm going to show them the earrings and the text between you and I. Okay? They have to release her today. You can at least wait until tomorrow! Are we not going to go apologize to May so she can return to work? No. I cannot believe that little brat is suing me in court. Wait, who? May, of course. May? For what? Defamation of character. Well, I warned you. Character? What does she know about character? She's a maid. Maids don't have character. Okay, so I'm guessing we're not going. Great. Not believe the judge ordered me to pay her a hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for what? Well, her lawyer says for damages. I mean, that's a lot of money, but I think you should be grateful that they didn't order you to pay a million. Listen, I know, but you know, I would love to have just damaged her for real so she would understand what damaged feels like. Mom, Ugh. you can't say things like that. You're wrong. She's a maid. Maids are human beings too. Okay, promise me, hey, promise me that you won't treat anybody like that ever again. Nobody deserves that. Okay, okay, 